Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and what vegans eat, you're in the right place. Where are we at today? We drove all the way to Langley and ate at Down Wait, to Earth. How, what are you guys doing? Sorry? What are you, what are you doing here? I'm just doing a little YouTube. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Like, uh, wait, ab about what? We do, we review vegan foods and we put it on YouTube. That's part. a job? It's not, it doesn't quite pay, but. Oh, okay. It, but it's, yeah, it actually costs money more than it pays. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the vegan food, right? Yeah, yeah. Vegan. That's, I'm, I'm actually, I'm vegan. That's wild. I'm just, Seriously? I'm just taking a hike through here and you guys yeah, are doing a vegan food review. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Vegan. Well, that's nuts. Do you want to join us? I mean, okay. Sh like, what, what do I have to do? Just stand, just stand here right oh, here. Okay, that's that's easy, yeah. easy enough. Stand here and introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Jordan. Jordan Veg Food. It's my last name. Veg Food. Veg Food. That's food. cool last name. That's, that's pretty nice. cool. Yeah, I chose it myself. <laughs> and and what are they watching? We're watching Vegan Threesome. Boom. So clearly, now the whole thing was set up. You couldn't tell because we are just amazing actors. <laughs> We're just so natural. And so <laughs> natural and just in the moment. And we have a special guest, Jordan Veg Food. And tell me where we are today. We are eating at Down to Earth Plant Based Parlor in Langley. We drove all the way from Vancouver. It took us quite a while. And what did you guys think about the location? The location was really nice. Not that big. They had about, what was it, five, five, six tables. Nice, homie. No, more, more than five or six. Seven? No, more than that. Because there's a whole big table you come in. Uh -huh. They have the two side tables by the wall, which sat two. Then they have the booths, one, two, three booths. Then there's a table around the corner and the big table we sat at. So yes, seven or eight. <laughs> seven, seven. <laughs> <laughs> After counting, yes, seven, seven or eight tables. Some, some, some of them are big tables. Right, I guess that's what I'm saying. It wasn't like, and it, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had like a whole And they had there. a patio. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, they did. Yeah, you're right, right. So that's nothing true. more than seven. Yeah. yeah. While we were eating, we had the pleasure of meeting the owner of the restaurant and we had the chance to interview Alyssa. So watch our little interview with how she started the business, what her favorite dishes are, and some of the challenges she faced when opening the restaurant. So how did you decide to start this business? So in 2017, uh, my daughter and my mom had some health challenges and that were completely different. But at that time, my daughter decided to go vegan. And then as a family, we all jumped on board and we could really see how the plant-based lifestyle uh, really benefited, like benefited our health, uh, or overall mental uh, well-being. And that's how we got started. And we used to go to Vancouver all the time uh, to try different food. And we mm -hmm. just thought one day as a family, we were like, it'd be really cool to have a place out in our own community where we could share uh, the lifestyle that we have and so that everybody can experience it. And did you have a background in the restaurant business or is this completely something new that you're so exploring? So I did. I actually started when I was 14 and I started in a family business in Fort Langley. So it's kind of cool. I won't tell you how many years later we are from 14, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of really neat that it's come full circle and that we now have a family restaurant. And uh, you had mentioned earlier that you opened the restaurant last year before COVID. About four months, yeah, before COVID, yeah. And what do you think of the challenges of COVID? And now that we're getting back to normal, what do you think of um, the situation now? It's challenging enough, I think, with staffing and, and learning the business as a whole, but having to pivot and turn as many times as we did and, and be strong for our team. Our team is like a family, so I think that that has definitely taken an emotional toll, but the fact that we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and coming through it, I feel like we're all stronger. Uh, we've, I think we can survive anything. We've got an amazing community and if it wasn't for them as well, we wouldn't be here. So yeah. very thankful for them. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed on your website um, something about Nona. Yeah, so we actually, uh, last October, we decided to uh, get on board with a delivery system, so with DoorDash. And at that point, we thought it would be fun to do a ghost kitchen out of our kitchen as well. So we did a virtual kitchen that was called Nona's Vegan Cucina mm -hmm. and a full Italian comfort uh, line going right into uh, to the winter time. So yeah, we did that and then we would again switch gears with our with our menu online. 
and we'll probably be bringing that back in the fall. Well, that's once exciting. Once we have <laughs> more staff and uh, yeah, as people go back to school, we're really trying to hire more people in the kitchen yeah. and make sure that we have the people so we can execute it the way that we want to, mm -hmm. but it's delicious. Yes, I it's love yummy. Italian food, yeah. so I was like, hmm, I want to try that. And my mom's side <laughs> is Italian, so Nona's is, we've no, that's what we call my mom is Nona. So it's a really celebration of my mom. Awesome. Yeah. Last question. Uh, okay. What are your favorite things on the menu that the we menu? should try? Yes. Oh, um, so right now we do have a, a new spring summer menu and I'd have to say the eight no spring chicken uh, cutlet sandwich is my favorite. It's got our homemade uh, like honey Dijon mustard with a broccoli slaw that has our sunshine vinaigrette on a toasted garlic brioche bun. And we make our own chicken cutlet in house and it has our uh, like K KFC breading on it. And it's just delicious. Uh, on our Nona's menu, the carbonara hands down uh, was my favorite. And on our brunch menu, it's a really tough one. I'd say for the sweet version, I would go with our homemade spelt waffles. We do a beet uh, raspberry puree and a matcha hemp butter. And it's got lots of berries on it. And then the, the benny. I think, uh, yeah, the benny is definitely my favorite as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to try some of the um, dinner, lunch menu the lunch items. Menu for sure. yeah, 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 that's awesome. Yeah. Come back up. Yeah. All right. right. Thank you, Alyssa, yeah, so much no, for the you interview. So much. Yeah, and we have really enjoyed our brunch today. That's awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Bye. So the food. What do we get? We got three, three different. Oh, well, we got drinks. Let's do drinks first. Yeah. I got the latte. What kind of latte? Almond latte. Yes. I'm like, what do you? How many <laughs> different kinds are there? I got the almond latte. And I got the almond mocha. And I got the. It was a golden turmeric latte thing and I made it dirty, which is adding an espresso shot. Did you know that? I did not know that at the time. I know that now, so. It was good. I'm not like a, I'm not like a fancy latte person. I usually just got like iced coffee. If I'm sure. getting coffee, I don't need something. Sure. I don't need the fucking the, the, the frothy. Can I curse? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I don't, I, don't need, I don't need the fucking froth mm -hmm. and like all the, the syrups and the color. Yeah. And I have to keep it simple. Yeah. What do you think? So give it, give it, give it yours. We didn't try yours, so we kind of score yours. Yeah, but, right, yeah. But it's scored out of five. Right now? Yeah. All right. Um, you go one, two, and then yeah. you. I've actually, I, I've seen it. I, I think we said it. I have no idea. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. So it's like rock, paper, scissors. And you, you need to shoot or no shoot? No shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Three. A three out of five. I'm not like a big drinks person. You know. The latte was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't the best latte I had, but it wasn't bad either. I would, you know, almond, almond, almond you know, normally makes the drinks a lot sweeter than I felt this one was. So it was all right. What do you think of my almond latte? I didn't think it was a good almond latte. There wasn't very much of a coffee taste to it. It was more the almond milk taste. Right. So. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I see that for sure. Yeah. All right. All right let's read your almond latte. One, one two, two, three. three. What'd you get? Oh, we, we all gave our drinks our three so far. Okay. And my almond mocha. I liked my drink more than Amir's. It was chocolatey. I could taste the coffee. Almond milk went well with it. What did you think? I like yours as well. But again, as far as mochas goes, I don't think it was the best mocha I've ever had. It was decent. Though. All right, okay. great. One, two, three. At Down to Earth, they only serve brunch on weekends. So we shared three items. We ordered two savory items and one sweet item. The first item we shared was the buttermilk collie and waffles. So it was fried cauliflower on top of some spelt waffles. This was the gluten-free dish. And on top, it was sprinkled with vegetables like bell peppers, edamame. What else was there? Corn. Corn, yeah. There was also um, a sweet sauce that was already on it. Did you guys taste that? Yeah. Yeah. And then it also came with um, a syrup which was the like bourbon, bourbon smoky kind of infused syrup. Pretty good. Like the seasoning was, was a nice mm, savory kind of smoky, kind of like a Cajun almost mm -hmm. kind of seasoning. Yeah, there's some seasoning. spiciness Yeah, in it. and it was roasted really well. Like it wasn't, um, it was kind of kind of dry in a good way on the outside. And then inside it was, was well cooked and, and it was quite, it was, you know, good, some good cauliflower. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't like a saucy cauliflower, it was very much like a dry 
spice kind of rub with cauliflower. They were going for like a, like a chicken and waffles, mm -hmm. like classic with cauliflower, which I've seen at other places. And the waffle itself was gluten free, um, but I didn't really notice it too much besides visually it looks like a very, but like a thinner waffle. Mm -hmm. And in contrast to the French toast, which we'll talk about later, the waffles were very much like a very thin and almost soggy. And I, I don't know if that's because you mentioned like a, um, almost like they had a sauce or like something on it already. Maybe as a process of waiting for us to get the video and the photos, maybe, maybe you kind of made those waffles more soggy than they would have been sure if you just ate them right off the bat, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd say overall pretty pretty good. And uh, yeah, and the the vegetable medley mix was a bit <laughs> eclectic with like bell pepper and edamame and corn mm -hmm. and kind of like some, yeah, some purple cabbage. So um, it, it, was, it, was, it didn't detract from the dish. I wasn't really sure, like I noticed you, you you, really, you had a whole pile of, yeah, of yeah. all that stuff left, left, left over. So I don't think it really, I'm not really sure what the role that yeah. played there. But yeah, it was overall pretty good. What do you think, Amir? I'm going first. Uh, the cauliflower was really good as well. It, it, it reminded me of kind of like an aloe gabi. Did you guys feel that? Hmm. No, because this was deep fried. I know, but just, just the taste of it, 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 to me it tasted like, it reminded me of aloe gabi. It but, didn't have any Indian spices. Was it deep fried? Yeah. Okay, I thought it might have been baked because yeah. of how it was. Okay. Waffle, I quite enjoyed. I know what you mean about them being gluten free, but I feel like most most waffles you get, like a frozen waffles you get that are vegan, they tend to be gluten free. Yeah, just that and overlap. And, They're just kind of. That's what that's what I normally get anyways, and I mean, quite quite enjoy them. The vegetables, like you said, I don't think it belonged at all. It was like really out of place. I didn't, even, like you said, I didn't even. Eat more stuff. I was like, this is this doesn't go with this at all. Uh, I actually not a big fan of chicken and waffles in general. And this one, it had a lot of extra vegetables, which I found was weird. I was the one who was plating everyone's dishes, and I didn't give myself any vegetables, so I just had the is cauliflower so and the. You got all of them. I got a bet by you, yeah. Maybe that's why. Maybe if it was just a little bit, it would have been fun. And that's <laughs> because I knew I wouldn't like the vegetables. It's like, it's like taking the broccoli <laughs> off your plate and feeding it to the dog down below. <laughs> so, I mean, the cauliflower was well done. It was well cooked inside. It was nice and crisp on the outside. The waffles were all right. I'm not a huge waffle fan. So the dish overall, um, okay. Not something I would normally order. Can we wait it? Yes. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. I have, to, I have to think, right? If you want. <laughs> well, I just have to think about my score. I, I don't yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. said everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like you, you already knew your thing. Yeah. You already know your thing. I'm like, mm -hmm. so you're, you're eating it, you're already rating it in your head. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and do you, do you do point fives? No. no. Mm -hmm. uh. Round it up, baby. <laughs> down. All right, you know what? You get, you, sometimes you gotta, you gotta break hearts. All yeah, right, okay. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Sometimes you gotta break hearts. Yeah, okay. All right, ready? For rock, paper. One, two, three, one, two, three and then three. go. Okay. One, one two, two, three. Oh, oh my god! Animus. Consensus, consensus. <laughs> All right, what's next? Next, we had the beni, which is another savory item. I quite enjoyed the beni. I like, I mean, beni is one of my favorite breakfast items to begin with. And instead of having a, a bread or a biscuit, they had used some kind of a hash brown. I thought it was a, <laughs> is that what it was? It was a rosti. What, what's a rosti? <laughs> it's kind of like a lot, lot oh, okay. Right, was... Like a hash brown, like you make shredded hash brown. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a lot C? It, it's similar. Why don't you just use words that we know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> not what it's called on the menu. <laughs> they call it lotsy? Rusty. They, yeah, this meant also the menu. A weird <laughs> stuff going on. Like not weird, right, but like right. we, we're using weird words. Right. And like they're describing the ingredient, like the waffles are made with like Anita's flour. Yeah. Like, do I care whose flour it is? Like <laughs> not his. Right, no. No, I agree. So so what is it? Rusty. Not hash brown. No. It's like a hash okay. brown. It's, it's rusty, which is, I'm a assuming hash another word for a hash brown, because that's what it was. It's, it's French. French, French, French for hash brown, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. The hollandaise sauce was really good. Overall, 
pretty good dish. I enjoyed it. What about you, Jordan? What did you think? Um, I thought it was pretty good. I, I'm also a fan of Benny's. As they're kind of one of my one of my go-to along yeah. with breakfast burritos. Um, probably one of my go-to breakfast items. Uh, and yeah, the hollandaise sauce was quite quite good. I think cashew base um, and the the kind of the lotzi or rotzi uh, hash brown thing was um was good. But again, I, I kind of mentioned this earlier. I'm kind of I like a nice classic classic English muffin. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it was it was nice, but um. You know, I don't know. I would have taken an English muffin, and the actual egg, which I assume is kind of a tofu type egg. Um, I feel like there wasn't much flavor to the egg itself, um, but the sauce was pretty good. Um, but then they had weird, some weird like, kind of grape tomatoes or kind of tomatoes on the side, and they had ketchup dolloped around like where a tomato went, might be. They'd alternate, mm. and I kind of got frustrated because I was eating my Benny, and just kind of inevitably because we're, we're sharing plates and things are moving around. There'd be ketchup kind of mixing in with the benny, and I would right. never put ketchup on a benny. So I feel like I had no choice. Right. Like I, I didn't agree to this ketchup right. being on my benny and right. mixing in with the flavors. So yeah, so I wasn't a fan of that, and, and maybe I would said no ketchup, or I, I just don't know why they put right. ketchup, ketchup over there. The next time you get that dish, you would say no ketchup. I would say no ketchup for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. And Diana, what, what do you think? I love Benny's. It's also another one of my favorite things to order. And this one was a pretty good version. It had spinach, tomatoes. The ketchup was a little bit odd, I agree. I don't put ketchup on my Benny's as well, but I guess maybe for the potatoes? That's what I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. the, 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 oh yeah, the, the worst potatoes. The rusty. The oh yeah, the rusty. Not <laughs> <laughs> about that. The hash browns. One, one, two, two three. three. Oh, me and Amir are oh. great. Is a catch up for me. <laughs> All of the items for brunch came with a shooter, and today's shooter was the watermelon lychee. What did you guys think of the shooter? We actually shot it. I don't know if you were supposed to. The, the guy who worked there, he was like, Well, some people shoot it, some people don't. Most people don't. Most, uh, like, that's what I got from him. He's yeah. like, He didn't want to like, judge us. Yeah. He, saw, he saw us shoot, shoot yeah. him. He's like, <laughs> but yeah, When we asked him, he's, like, he's not going to tell us that that's weird. He's just, right. yeah. it, was, it was like a three ouncer, so it was yeah. like, It was a big. Big shot. Like if that was, <laughs> it was a big shot. Yeah, yeah. Was like if that shot. was alcohol, yeah. you'd have been. Yeah. Shot. Yeah, and it was really tasty, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, if I get to do it again, I wouldn't shoot it because you would like sip on of, it. Kind of wasted it because it was yeah. it was pretty yummy. And did you say that they, they market it as kind of everything comes with um, a seasonally crafted immunization shot? Did they use immun immunization yeah. shot? Um, so very much like a, I was expecting. Something not appetizing because that sounds like you know wheatgrass. Like, it sounds like yeah, it sounds like a health gross. country thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. They're, they're, they're taking their plants, their vines right. out there, and they're squeezing them out it, right. and bringing them out for for our and we're basically just eating right. beef juice. But it was not that at all. I didn't know. It was it was juice. Yeah, right? it was good. It was quite tasty. I enjoyed it. Like it didn't feel healthy. Like I don't I don't think that's you know it's not going to be a immunization booster. It's basically kind of like you're drinking like yeah juice. a juice box. Juice. Yeah. Right. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh yay! Oh, nice. We all like no, great. No, I'm giving it a five. Oh, five. I didn't see I that. I, mean, I thought it was. I thought it was. Gaspar Perfect. Juice goes, well, I mean, what what could be better? Well, do you particularly like watermelon lychee as your flavor? I I couldn't actually taste lychees very much. I could uh, I could I could generally taste taste watermelon more than anything else. But we mm -hmm. we tasted the the, the lychee. Yeah, or the no, lychee. you guys did. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And it was made like a third of the flavor profile. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was great. Like it, it's not particularly hot today, but yeah. I can imagine on a hot summer day, it's almost like even more than a shot. If they had that, and they made it not healthy, which mm -hmm. I don't think it's healthy. They, you know, adding a bit of mm -hmm. yeah, a bit of tequila or some vodka or some gin, yeah. oof, that'd be tasty. Yeah. Or on its own, I would like order a glass of that as a juice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't. Well, I can't think anything that would make it better. You know, vodka. <laughs> the last thing we ordered was a stuffed French toast with maple syrup. It is stuffed with a fruit compote, but I don't know what kind of fruit it was. I think it was orange, wasn't it? I think it was orange too. I particularly am not a big fan of French toast normally. I would I would never go out of my way to order it if I was ordering by myself. Uh, but I thought it was pretty good. It was sweet. It's a thick French toast. This thing is like almost like half a foot mm -hmm. tall in terms of thickness. So, you know, quite a, quite a thick French toast. Uh, and the stuffing, I guess, I, I guess they kind of do two pieces and they I don't know, how do you stuff a French toast? I don't know. You cut it in half, cut, and, then and then you, you feel it, then you have to glue it back together or something? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, we're not chefs. Yeah, it, it, but it, it was pretty good. I, again, I'm not like a super sweet person, and in terms of breakfast, I would you go for a pancake or a waffle, then a French toast. Um, I thought the stuffing was interesting. You think you said you're probably right about being kind of orange, some kind mm -hmm. of orange thing, I thought, um, which was interesting, not 
personally what I would choose to stuff it with. I would maybe go with a more of a actual kind of creamy, like a coconut cream. I guess being a nice contrast to kind of the mm -hmm. kind of a lighter um, flavor, and not not as because it was quite sweet. I have issues with how hard or easy it is to eat food, and I had like the crust part of French toast, and I found it very hard to cut into. I didn't eat the crust in the end. I just left it. Not a big fan of sweet items for brunch. I prefer savory, so not an item I would normally order, but it was interesting. I haven't had a stuffed French toast in a very long time, so something different. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. Ooh, another match. Three sound. Boom. One thing we didn't talk about was the plating of the food itself, like the aesthetics of it. Mm -hmm. I think we're quite strong, like a lot of kind of nice smearing like the french toast is a nice kind of a, a berry kind of smeary like, mm -hmm. you know, when you get like a smear like on a plate they kind of do a little right. smeary thing right. and i think the which one had like kind of that almost um mustard looking smear kind of a, a yellow smear as well like the, the waffles had a bit of something like maybe like mm -hmm. a hummus kind yeah. of thing and like yeah nice little berries sprinkled mm -hmm. around and little edible flowers on top of the french toast for example and, and quite well plated i think aesthetically like like aesthetics are gonna be quite strong for this place uh, i agree uh, the presentation was really nice quite good. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Could, you, could we rate the presentation? Sure, we can. Is that, is that, is that off, off but, script? But, yeah. but we haven't done it before. Why? But yeah, we, you'd be rating, yeah. like, people want the vibe, right? Right. Like rate the aesthetics yeah. of a place. One, two, two three. three. Four. Five. Give it a perfect five. I give you a high five anyway. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he's a guest. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go check it out yourself. And as always, let us know what you think in the comments. All right, so I have a question for Miss Diana mm -hmm. and Captain Jordan. I like that. What are, we, what are we doing? Are we going back there ever again? Would you ever go back there again? I personally would not, or not likely. Not because of the food. Um, again, the food I thought was, was pretty good. And, and you know, just to, like, I think my ratings are lower because I like to have room in those upper ends. So three is a good, that's a good meal. Like that's fine, right? It's not right. Not, not bad. It's, it's good, right? So just Absolutely. to say that. Yeah. Um, but I think based on the lo location in Langley, um, I don't drive and I do. I bike everywhere pretty much. So like a two and a half hour bike ride from mine to there, probably won't be back. No. I I mean I love the fact that it's a vegan restaurant. You know I have a lot of respect for that. Anybody who runs a vegan restaurant, obviously because I'm a vegan and I like to see more vegan restaurants out there. Uh, with that being said. Even though I do drive, Langley is quite far. I wouldn't, I wouldn't come all the way out here for a meal. But if I am out here and I need a place to go eat, I would definitely go back there and eat. What about yourself? I appreciate that there is a 100% plant-based option out in Langley because there aren't very many options. So if someone were to ask me um, about a recommendation, I definitely recommend going to Down to Earth. Um, but I'm not sure if we would especially go out there just to eat at that restaurant. And if you do one thing after watching this video, go subscribe to Jordan's YouTube, follow their Instagram. Their comment is awesome and that's why they're here. If you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, go ahead and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and tap that bell so you don't miss future episodes. And a parlor. And a parlor. Why is it, what makes it a parlor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask her that. What, is, what even is a parlor? Like a